hey guys welcome back to another video on ps4 linux first of all a very happy new year to every one of you i know that i have not been able to make videos regularly as i usually did a few months ago but i've been pretty busy and i'm sorry for that anyways today's video is about vpns that is virtual private networks many of you guys do use vpns while browsing and downloading so because of the kernel level restrictions on presently available kernels for the ps4 Many of you have not been able to use VPN on your PS4 Linux distros. Today, we're going to fix that. Okay. Today, I'll be releasing two kernels. One is for the Billies, and I believe that it will also work for Yolia. And the other kernel is for Pycal. The kernel for Billies will be based on Coded Wrenches 5.15.15 source, and uh, the one for Pycal is based on Byte Hacks 5.4.2.3. Okay. So these kernels will already have the drivers inbuilt for the MT7668, which is found on certain models of the PS4 including the 7215B and 7216B. And on top of that, it will also have support for VPNs, including the support for WireGuard and OpenVPN protocols. So almost every other VPN that you can find on Linux will work on your PS4 Linux using these kernels. Okay. So once you have downloaded these kernels and the Initram FS that it's supposed to work with them, you can just boot into any distro of your choice. Before we get into the tutorial, a huge shout out to our forum member Yol Tessa, who decided to sponsor this kernel, that is the Belize kernel with VPN support for both WireGuard and OpenVPN. So a quick huge shout out to him and any other person who contributed to this project for the Baikal and Belize. Now let's jump straight into the tutorial. It's very simple. All you have to do is load with the kernel that is uh, available in the description and also on my website, do check that out. Download that kernel and download an appropriate Initram FS according to the kernel. If you are using an MT7668 equipped PS4 like the 7215B and 7216B and you want the Wi-Fi to work, make sure that you are downloading the appropriate Initram. All of this detail will be given in the description. Do check that out. Okay. So once you have the appropriate kernel and the Initram, you can directly boot into any distro of your choice. In this example, I'm going to boot into Linux FX and then I'm going to show you how it works. So this is a fresh installation of Linux FX. I haven't done anything yet apart from installing the Mulvad VPN client that we are going to be using for this tutorial. You can download your own VPNs client, which would be available from their website. That is their official website. Okay. So I'm going to quickly show you how the VPN works, whether it works or not. So I'm going to start the VPN client. I got the Mulvad VPN right here. So it is obviously yeah, disconnected for now. Okay. So first of all, let's see if WireGuard works. So for that, I'm going to go into the settings and then VPN settings and then I'm going to scroll down and let's see. Okay. So first we're going to try the WireGuard. Okay. And then let's try connecting. Okay. So it has already been connected. And as you can see, it says WG here and also WG here. So this means that WireGuard is connected. Now let me quickly go into the checker to see if the VPN is connecting properly. If it has, you know, like plugged in DNS leaks and stuff. Okay. So it says, yeah. We are safe right now. Okay. So now that clears that WireGuard is perfectly working. So I'm going to disconnect quickly right here. And then I'm going to go back into the settings to change the settings to use the OpenVPN protocol. Okay. And then I'm going to connect again. And as you can see, it right now says OVPN, which means OpenVPN. Okay. So I'm going to quickly reload here. And yeah, it is safe and it works perfectly. Okay. Now, many of you guys might have VPNs that do not have client for your distro. So in that case, you will have to use a terminal to connect it using either one of the protocols that is WireGuard or OpenVPN. There are some VPNs that also support network managers, but if it is not supported, WireGuard or OpenVPN are the best options that you have. So next in the video, I'm going to show you how to use a terminal to connect via WireGuard or OpenVPN to your VPN. And that will also show you that it does actually work on your PS4 Linux. Okay. Okay. Now we will see how WireGuard and OpenVPN can be accessed through the terminal. So for this, I have chosen the distro PS Zetarch 3. You could try this on any other distro. The steps are more or less the same. If you face any issues, just leave a comment below in this video or go to my website that is ps4linux.com. The article has already been linked in the description. You could leave a comment there as well or even go to the forums. Okay. First, let us see how. WireGuard works. Okay. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Mulvad VPN. Most of the VPNs have clear cut pages with instructions on setting up WireGuard with their VPN. So does Mulvad. So this is their page. All you have to do is follow these uh, instructions that are given here. Just follow these instructions to a T except for this part. Okay. This only gives you instructions for Ubuntu or Divine and Fedora. That is the installation part of WireGuard. For installing WireGuard on Arch Linux based distros like PSE Touch version 3, 
this or this is not the command. The command has been given on my website. Again, check the description for that. Use that command to install Viaguard. Okay, then move on to the next step. And then the third step, that is this. So I'm going to show you the third step only. The first and second steps are pretty self-explanatory and uh, they have been given in pretty good detail right here. If you're using any other VPN than Mulvad, you will have to find this page or contact your support to get these configuration files and move them properly. Okay. So once the configuration files have been moved into the Viaguard folder, that is slash etv slash Viaguard, all you have to do is run this command. So let's try in my case. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go open a terminal. And then I'm going to type WG hyphen quick space up and then a space and then the name of the configuration file. Okay. So this is the file that pertains to my configuration file. You would have already moved this file to slash etc slash Viaguard. You can check that folder for the exact name. This name has to be exact. Okay. Just remove the dot conf part from it. And uh, just this number should be the last. Now, once you have the command ready, just press enter and it will ask for the root password provide it and then it will output this chunk this means that we are connected let's check our connection okay i'm going to go to the connection check part of malvad and let's reload the page to see if we are connected to the vpn and if there are any dns leaks or webrtc leaks as you can see everything is green we are safe okay so this shows that viaguard works or even on psz touch the steps are pretty similar on other distros as i've already said now let me quickly show you how you could stop the vpn for that the command is pretty similar, just uh, the earlier command, but replace up with down and then press enter. Now let's try reloading the page to see if it has been successful. Okay, if it has been successful, it would not say I'm, that I'm using Malvad VPN. And as you can see, it says that I'm not using Malvad VPN. This means we are disconnected from the VPN. Okay, next up, we're going to see how open VPN works with Malvad on Arch Linux or for that matter, any other distro. Okay, so here are the instructions for open VPN for Malvad. You'll have to find the instructions for your VPN or just contact the support. Again, you'll have to go to the configuration files page and follow these instructions. Obviously, this is for Ubuntu or Debian, but the steps remain more or less the same, except for this part that is a pseudo apt get update and uh, this one, the second one. Instead of that, there are specific installation instructions for PSZ Arch, okay? That is based on Arch Linux. You can find that in the link in the description. Go through that and use that to install OpenVPN and the other dependencies that it requires, okay? A quick note here, OpenVPN also requires the latest version of Glibc. So you'll have to install that as well. Again, the command for that has been given on PS4 Linux. So you'll have to follow that. But just to be safe, make sure that you restart after the installation is complete. Okay. Now, when we come to the seventh step here, there is a small change. It only talks about these three files, but there is a fourth file that you will have to copy to slash etc slash OpenVPN. Let me just quickly show you that. Okay. All right. So this is the zip file that I downloaded after the configuration. As you can see, I can go to the configuration files page on my Malvad VPN account and then uh, create the file, which would provide a zip file. So this is that zip file that I was provided with. And then I extracted it and then I got this folder. So I'm going to go into that folder. Now I'm going to copy all of these four files to the folder slash etc slash open VPN. For that, I'm going to open a terminal here and then I'm going to type sudo space cp space asterisk space slash etc slash open vpn okay and then press enter so that would have copied all the four files to the slash etc slash open vpn folder now we are ready to start open vpn okay upon checking the instructions page i see that this is one of the options available but this does not work on PSZ touch so i'm going to go for the second command that is this one okay so this asks for the specific file name as you can see dot conf so i'm going to copy it till right here then go to the terminal and then paste it right here. As you can see, my file's name is underscore at underscore vie. So I'll have to change that accordingly here. Underscore at underscore vie dot conf. Unlike Viaguard, which should not require this dot conf part, OpenVPN does require this. Okay. So make sure that you're typing it correctly and then press enter. As you can see, we have been thrown out to the shell again. This means that there has been an issue. So this is expected on some distros. Let me quickly show you how you could fix this. Okay. For that, first of all, we'll have to edit the con file that we just moved to slash etc slash open VPN in the first step. Okay. So I'm going to type sudo space nano space slash etc slash open VPN slash this file. Okay. So I'm going to copy it right here. Yours might be different. The file name might be different. So make sure that your properly doing that okay and then press enter this would open that file here 
and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change two things here find this line auth user pass and then go to the end of it and at the beginning of malware underscore user pass dot text just type slash etc slash open vpn slash and then come down to the line which says ca do the same here so the file should be similar to what you see right here right now okay and then when you're satisfied with the result just press ctrl s and then ctrl x to save and exit now there's one more thing that you will have to do you'll have to type sudo chmod space plus x and then another space and then slash etc slash open vpn slash this file okay update hyphen resolve hyphen conf okay and then press enter okay now we are ready to run the same command again that is to start open vpn okay so i'm gonna just quickly scroll to the same command sudo nohub open vpn and then press enter as you can see we have not been thrown out to the shell again so this means that we have successfully connected let me check my connection again okay i'm gonna go to the connection check part and then try reloading to see if we are successfully connected and as expected we are connected successfully and everything is green there are no dns leaks or no webrtc leaks and obviously we are using malware vpn so this is how you use open vpn to connect to your vpn on ps4 linux using the terminal and now if you want to stop the vpn all you have to do is go back to the terminal and press ctrl c that would stop it and throw you back to the shell this means that we are disconnected let me just quickly confirm that for you by reloading the check page and as you can see it has already thrown a uh, red under leaking webrtc ipcs and and right now we are not using malware vpn okay i hope you like this video remember if you have any issues i'm already available at three places mostly that is on my website psfullinux.com in the comment section of this video and also the forums and obviously there is a fourth place that is a discord server you could try connecting to me on any of these four places i'll try to help you out to the best of my knowledge okay Keep supporting the channel and if you would like to donate or sponsor further projects on PS4 Linux, you can directly contact me on Discord regarding that. Or if you would directly like to donate, the coffee link is in the description. Once again, a huge thanks to our forum member Yol Tessa who sponsored this kernel for you guys and keep supporting the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.